One of the things that uh, sets aside mobile devices from desktop or laptop devices is the fact that you can hold them in different orientations. You can change the orientation of the device. It can be in portrait, landscape, landscape upside down, portrait upside down. There's four different orientations. There's four different sides to the device that can be facing up. So we need to be able to handle that in JavaScript if we're going to build things for mobile devices and we want to be able to react to those changes. So that's what I'm going to do here. I have a very simple little script and what I'm doing is I'm going to call a function called getOrientation. Every time I want to know what the orientation is, I call this function. Now I have a variable inside of there and there's three different things that I'm checking because there's prefixed versions of the orientation property. So ms or .ms orientation on the screen object, so window.screen.ms orientation. This is the old Windows version, or not Windows, but uh, Internet Explorer and Edge version. So this will give us one of these four values, portrait primary, portrait secondary, landscape primary, landscape secondary. Or if that doesn't exist, what we're looking for is one of these two things, either orientation, which is that's the standard one, or Moz orientation, which was the early Firefox implementation. So if it's either one of those, we need that object, and then we're going to get the type property from that object. So this one line of code is going to check the different versions that could exist and extract the string that we need. Then I'm just doing a switch case statement. So I'm looking at those. If I wanted to do something based on any one of those, we could write some code inside of here. So let's say, for example, uh, if it's landscape primary, console log, uh, this is the laptop desktop version, something like that. So when we're in here, we refresh. There we go. This is what you get. This is on my, on my laptop. This is the browser running here. I'm getting this message, and this is the only one I will ever get on my laptop. And that's because I can't change the orientation. I can move my laptop around, but you can't see that I'm doing that. It's not moving at all, so the orientation is never going to change. If I have a mobile device, which that's what this is. So I have my device plugged in. I'm loading the web page from my local server. It's the same web page. And it loaded and portrait primary. So if I hit refresh, portrait primary, that's its orientation to begin with. So we can see that there are two different ones depending on the device. Now, I have an event listener here for orientation change. This is something that will never fire on my laptop, but on a mobile device, this will. This will let me see when the changes are taking place. So let's uh, move this over a little bit. There we are. So orientation change, if I take the phone and I rotate it, there we go, you can see that it changed and now it says landscape primary. So I turned it counterclockwise, now the top of the phone is pointing to the left. That's landscape primary. And I get the message popping up here. I called get orientation, which found out what this, the value of this was. I returned it and then I'm writing that out here. And I'm also looking at the event itself, the orientation change event. There's not a lot of useful stuff inside of here. You know, the current target, target, okay, great. Um, type orientation change, I knew the type because that's the event listener I was listening for. So not a lot of really useful stuff, but you can access that event if you need to. Um, yeah, so that's landscape primary. If I turn the phone around, portrait primary, and then landscape secondary. Now the top of the phone is pointing off to the right. Now I can rotate it again so the device is pointing down. The top of the phone is pointing down to the floor now. You'll see there's no change that takes place here. Quite a few devices do this. They don't let you hold the phone upside down. Uh, if I put it right side up, there's portrait primary and I very quickly flip it to face the floor, there, it hasn't changed at all. So I have pointed it down, but this is the only portrait one. So very often in your code, you're not gonna need two different settings in here. What you'll likely do is something more akin to this. In either of these cases, I'm using portrait mode and I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. Okay.
and that's screen orientation. That's all the script there is. There's one event, and then these three potential properties, and these four potential values. And I do have one case here for the cases where um, this was not defined anywhere. This variable is going to be undefined if it's not supported, if it's an old device. Um, undefined is the value that you're going to get back for that. All right, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.